Welcome XCW Galaxy. Here we are. XCW 5 Season 5 Episode 10 The Season Finale. And you know since it is the season finale we had to do a big for you ladies and gentlemen. We had to go above and beyond. So this is the first episode in this season with honorable mentions ladies and gentlemen. This episode is the top 5 XCW unique promo locations. Like I said at the end of last, uh, last episode, ladies and gentlemen, there's quite a few we've had, you know, whether it be a graveyard, you know, a school, you know, top of the world, you know. We'll see, ladies and gentlemen. Let's first get in to our top five XCW unique promo locations, honorable mentions, before we get to the actual top five. Here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, top five honorable mentions here. Start with Brogan on top of the world, making his impression felt, telling everybody what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And then next we have the parents' house promos. Tommy first breaking into Chris Jones' dad's house and putting the smackdown on him like the villain he is. And then we have Chris Jones, ladies and gentlemen, breaking into his own dad's house, putting the smackdown on him because that's just the villain he is. And then we have Tommy, again, going into this time Evan Phoenix's parents' house to kind of see what makes him not a superhero, ladies and gentlemen. And next we have Tommy making his way to Evan's secret lair, his cave, so to speak, to make his impression felt there. What a creepy promo that one. Ooh, okay. Tommy, the man Merriman, making his impression felt after jail, ladies and gentlemen. Getting out after Chris Jones. He stabbed him. You remember that, ladies and gentlemen? And that man is uncanny. Speaking of Chris Jones, here he is at Cobbs, ladies and gentlemen, making a promo against genocide. Oh man, Kurt Asset talking about how his father died from Cobbs. How terrible alcoholism. Anthony Steele, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Here he goes in Salem, DJ's hometown. A little creepy vibes there in the Satan aspect. Brogan and ACT, ladies and gentlemen going to be rounding us off here their promo for the junkyard brawl matches them getting in to the the spirit so to speak and then finally being able to face each other in a junkyard brawl like i said ladies and gentlemen top of the world you see what i did there gave you a little clue because i like you guys that's because i like you guys ladies and gentlemen those were the top five honorable mentions we had chris jones at Cobbs, brogan on top of the world we had anthony Steele making his uh Way to Salem? Should've taken me, but that's okay, no big deal. You know, what What unique ones those were, just on the honorable mention, so it makes me wonder what is gonna make the actual top five unique promo locations. And those are right here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Graveyard Promos. We've had quite a few in XCW history. Always a pleasure to go back and see what people are gonna bring up, you know, whether it be loved ones or uh, you know, maybe some demons they thought they had buried. Chris Jones at ooh, Genocide's Dad Grave, putting uh, more insult to injury there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, definitely getting into the mindset of their feud, uh, urinating, I believe. How, how terrible was that? But Chris Jones was a bad guy back in the day, ladies and gentlemen. Genocide also, so him in there losing his title thanks to Nightmare. Devil being stalked for a while due to him and can't really get that demon off his back. He tries to go to the graveyard, really get exercise his demons, cannot do so. Devil is there as well, cannot do so again. And genocide scared shitless, myself included. I probably would have ran out of the graveyard myself. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Parsley, the one fresh in our minds, desecrating the grave of Kurt Asset, the legendary. Despicable, despicable. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, a graveyard, a great way to get in the mind of your opponent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving right along here, number four. One promo in particular, Austin Chaos and Hazard, the Trans Canada pri Pipeline. These guys made uh, a little trip to that beautiful pipeline there, ladies and gentlemen. And obviously, they were the Canadian force they had to show America why Canada is better. And in business, 
to deliver. You see it behind him, ladies and gentlemen. What a great promo that was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, chugging right along here. The number three unique promo location. We have Jason Arcane. And man, this guy had quite a few promos back in the day, and they all showcased one thing. And it is the fact that you can't run, you can't hide no matter what. No place is off limits to Jason Arcane. We saw him in quite a few locations, ladies and gentlemen. On rooftops, we've seen him on train bridges, we've seen him in abandoned buildings. He goes wherever he wants, whenever he wants. And these promos definitely drove home that fact, ladies and gentlemen. We saw him in, like I said, quite a few different locales, on bridges, and in abandoned cabins, on, on buildings, you know, rooftops, anywhere he could get his head on, his hands on to try to get into the head of his opponent and, you know, show why. You know, places off limits to the man, the myth, the legend, Jason R. Kane. One of my favorite promos to date, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely well-deserved in our number three spot. Top three, top five unique promos. Alright, right along number two here, ladies and gentlemen, our top five unique promo locales. We have the Madison Square Garden promo, ladies and gentlemen. Flesh, you know, holding the XCW championship, making it to the big apple, telling Venom why no matter what he does and no matter what he did to Chris Jones, the same will not happen to Fletch. He's not gonna poison his title reign. And you gotta you gotta you gotta say bye. If you haven't seen that promo, you need to go watch it. Fletch delivers it perfectly and you can tell <laughs> he's not scared of Venom whatsoever. It's always nice to be in the Big Apple, one of my favorite promo locations. And numero uno, ladies and gentlemen, the number one unique promo location, Jeff Buster at Wendy's. What a great set of promos this was, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a unique location to be sure. How many have you seen in a Wendy's? Oh man. But, ladies and gentlemen, you see Jeff Buster here trying to make his way to some familiar faces. At least he thinks there's some familiar faces. As he makes his way around, none of the wrestlers are who he thinks they are. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the second promo, we kind of do the switcheroo on you. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Jeff Buster thinks <laughs> he knows who they are. He's actually working at Wendy's at this time, which I don't know how that happened. I don't know who, who the GM was, but we gotta, we got to do some investigating there. Um, gets the gets the identities wrong again, ladies and gentlemen, because he thinks it's their the actual persona, but no, it's the wrestler. You gotta love Jeff Buster, man. Poor guy. He always tries his best, uh, and unfortunately, this time for him, it doesn't work out very well. He gets the absolute snot knocked out of him in a Wendy's, man. What a great promo location. What a great spot. If you haven't seen it, ladies and gentlemen, it's on YouTube. Go check it out. And that is our number one unique promo location. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, the season finale, our top five unique promo locations. We had our honorable mentions, you saw them. And number one, Jeff Buster, the promo in Wendy's, the infamous promo. And oh man, uh, <laughs> a lot of history there, a lot of history there. And you know, I'm loath to give it to Jeff Buster. You know, me and him have a lot of history, not always good, not always good, but can't argue with results, you know. That, that was the ones that the powers that be voted the most unique location. I gotta agree with them, you know. How many, how many promos you see inside of a Wendy's, ladies and gentlemen? Not many, that's for sure. Not many. Oh, man. But that is it for us on XCW5, Season 5, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the future. We got plenty good stuff for you. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, on Season 5. And that was the top five unique promo locations. I'm JJ, and as always, we'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.